What's up, Nakamas? So, we are at the mall right now, and we are going to Hot Topic because we are looking for the Dawnbreaker Batman. I do want to take a look at the Harley Quinn, but let's see what we get today. <laughs> So we're back you guys all right so that was a bit of a short hunt it wasn't really too long still i want to show you what we got at hot topic now it was hot cash season so we've been getting a few things but um we also got a few things online besides what we got at hot topic though on that day we do want to show you a couple things that we've been picking up a couple of mail calls also and some things that we went to go pick up at our local comic book store and gamestop as well so let's go ahead and get started with that so we're gonna start off with what we got a hot topic now first thing i want to show you is something very cool that has been on my um on my eye or i want to say on my radar for quite a bit of time already but i've been just i guess pushing it back for a bit but the first pop that i want to show y'all is hot topic girl now this is the i guess the se at the top is means special edition now i think my favorite thing about these kind of pops is the artwork and the creativity that they use so in the back of the box you can see right there um i guess that is the model or, or that is the hot topper girl um the person that they use right so that they can create this pop right over here it kind of shows her tattoos she has tattoos on her arm and also kind of like going up her neck so it looks very very well done so there she is you guys hot topper girl now i want to focus mainly on the front because uh, in the back it's not <laughs> not much but as you can see right there the tattoos is what really intrigued me I really like the details on that I um, I feel that they I don't know what they use honestly to do the tattoos but I I feel they do a pretty good job when it comes to that and the back <laughs> very simple you know not much to see back there Th that overall is a great looking pop I really like it and like I mentioned I've been wanting it and I finally got it so we got Hot Topic Girl. All right, the second pop I want to show you guys that we got a Hot Topic is, of course, Kenny from Attack on Titan. Now, yes, I am finally starting <laughs> an Attack on Titan collection. Now, when it comes to Attack on Titan, I think I want to focus mainly on characters or pops that I really, really like. Kenny was one of those <laughs> because of that one specific scene that he had with Levi. I thought it was great. It was awesome. And if you guys know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. But if not, go watch Attack on Titan. It's a great show. And that's all I'm going to say about it. As you guys can see, every detail in this pop is amazing. From the guns to his hat um, to his, you know, his beard that he's got going on. Everything looks good. His hair. Um, I feel this is a really, really good pop. Um, and then behind him also, you see... All the equipment that he has um, on him, it just looks great. I think the amount of detail that they put on this pop is great. It's amazing. But not only him, it's most of all, actually, a lot of the Attack on Titan pops, they do a really good job when it comes to adding the small details on them. So I love this guy. And now I want to collect more of AOT, but we'll see which other ones I get after this one. And of course, the third one that we got at Hot Topic had to be one of the ones that I showcased whenever I was filming inside of Hot Topic, and that is Batman. Now, this is the Dawn Breaker Batman. Man, this is awesome. I just want to focus on the box. God, just look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? They did a great job with this Batman. Now, outside of this Batman right over here, I think the only other pop that has a black box overall, I think, is a light-up Iron Man. And, of course, we do have the first appearance Wonder Woman that has, like, a gold box all around. So, I like it when Funko goes outside of the box, <laughs> you know, to do something different when it comes to pops. And this one, oh, man, they did such a good job. I want to get him out of the box so we can focus a little, more, a little bit more on how he looks. Alright, so the first thing I actually wanted to show you before we talk about the actual pop 
is the little piece of cardboard that they usually add on Funko Pops. It's not on every single one, but I kind of like this one. Now, I don't know if we're going to need to zoom in or focus on this one. Leslie is behind the camera right now, but she can see it better than I can. But you can see Gotham City almost in the background, and it's like a shadow in a sense, and it looks it looks really good. I think they them adding that just adds... I mean, you don't notice it right off the bat, but it does add an effect when you look into the window of the pop, so that is very much appreciate, appreciated, sorry. <laughs> but of course, here we have the actual pop, and this one looks great. Oh man, it looks so good. I, I do wish it was glow in the dark. <laughs> I think that would make a lot of sense, right? But, oh, he looks great. I, I wanna see more variations of Batman, and I love that Funko's doing this. Um, now, one thing I do wanna mention about Batman is that you cannot turn his head so you know his head doesn't swivel around or anything like that and the reason why is actually because of this right here you know so that doesn't actually make his head swivel it is just in place but mm, it's not a big problem I don't think I really mind that at all and when it comes to him standing up he stands up pretty well <laughs> regardless guys this is probably I don't know I, I, I want to say this this is a big statement one of my favorite Batman so far all right, next up is actually something that I got from another fellow collector here in the city. And I'm not going to take this guy out of the box because he is an older pop, but I am so happy I finally got him in my collection. This is where we're going to get into some of the rapid fire stuff, so get ready and buckle up. <laughs> I want to show you Hit. Now, this is a Toys R Us exclusive, and he looks great, and I got a really good deal for him. Now, I have seen, of course, <laughs> I think all of you guys have seen also, a lot of the DBZ pops and the DBS pops. When it comes to Dragon Ball Super, they go up in price like crazy. So I am very glad that I managed to get hit. Super happy to have him in the collection. After that, we did go to an anime shop that I don't know if they're okay with me recording, but I kind of want to ask next time because it is an amazing looking store and I want you guys to take a look at it. But we did pick up a couple of pops from that anime store. The first one I want to show you is <laughs> another one that I was missing and it's kind of old. Now this is Bulma from the original Dragon Ball series. Now we did complete <laughs> that wave that you see in the back. We do have Goku and the Flying Nimbus. We are missing the Galactic Toys exclusive Goku, um, but we will get him soon. <laughs> Regardless, I'm really happy to have the very first Bulma that they released. This next one, I'm really excited to show y'all. Since we got Kenny, I think it's a very appropriate to show you guys this one. We managed to find Levi <laughs> and I was so surprised when I saw him at this anime shop this is a cool looking pop and oh man when I saw him I was like okay give him to me right now and it was the last one that they had there so I am so happy um, there is a small little scuff at the bottom of the box you guys can't probably see it from from where you're looking at in the camera but it's Levi. I needed to have him. I really didn't care too much about the box. Besides that little scuff anyways, he is minty fresh and I am so happy to have Kenny and Levi, which are two Attack on Titan pops that I really, really wanted. I want to end it with us going to our local comic book store, but we also did stop by GameStop because they had a pre-order uh, that we had done a while back and I am very excited to finally have this guy in my hand. Batman Who Laughs. And again, <laughs> speaking of different variations of Batman, wow, oh my God. I gotta get this guy out of the box, but just showing you the art and all that stuff. Now, of course, he is a PX Previews exclusive. If you guys don't know, very quickly, I wanna mention, PX Previews, this is the way somebody explained it to me once in a comic book store. Those are usually exclusive to smaller stores. So comic book stores, uh, your local gaming stores or anything like that. I'll set up GameStop, of course. Um, but that's usually what the PX previous exclusives are. So I am super happy that I managed to get this guy. And you can see the artwork in the back also of the Batman Who Laughs. And oh my god, he looks great. I do want to get him out of the box and just show you guys what he looks like. All right, guys, here he is. And oh my god, look at that pop off. Oh. Now, it feels like they added like a glossy finish on the paint, but that smile, oh my god, that looks sick. That looks just sick. Another thing I do want to mention on this pop, his cowl or his, I guess you can call it his cowl, like his um, collar in a sense, right? It goes all the way up to like uh, the, the bottom part of his head right there, but when you twist his head, 
His cowl stays in place, uh, in place, sorry. His collar, I meant to say. <laughs> but that is so cool. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> Did I just say that, that Dawnbreaker was my favorite Batman? Forget that. <laughs> Batman Who Laughs is not my favorite Batman. Okay, y'all. Last two pops that I want to show y'all, we picked up at our local comic book store. And the first one is... <laughs> yes, we are completing the Fooly Cooly set here. It's Haruko. So this one is great also. Love the design. Love how they put the guitar behind her back also. Um, if y'all haven't seen the anime, I think I mentioned it before. Go watch it. It's a really good one. It's weird. <laughs> it's different, but I think you guys might enjoy it if you give it a shot. And this one's really cool, and I really like it. Super happy to have Haruko in my collection. Conti is next. Last but not least, the final pop that we managed to get at our local comic book store is Urza Scarlet from Fairy Tale. I love it. <laughs> Probably, honestly, in my personal opinion, my favorite character from Fairy Tale. I love who she is. She is just a total badass. Um, she can fight, she can kick your ass, and she loves sweets on top of that. I mean, what else could you wish for? Alrighty, y'all, so that's gonna do it for this pop hunt slash weekly haul, I guess you can call it. I hope you guys enjoyed, but as always, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We got a lot of more fun videos that we're doing, and I'm really enjoying pop hunting right now at the moment, so <laughs> there's a lot more pop hunts coming as well. But guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.